Hey, everybody. I'm Sonny Rivera, Senior Analytics Evangelist at ThoughtSpot. And I'm back with part three on our series of how to unlock the power of ThoughtSpot leveraging Snowflake, Snowpark, and Python for your advanced analytics models. In prior episodes, we've talked about sentiment analysis, time series forecasting. Today, we're going to talk about customer behavior predictions, specifically customer churn. But before we do that, let's take a good look at CodeSpot. And recall that at CodeSpot, you can get started quickly with your data science insights with pre-built code, sample data, and example live boards. Let's take a look at our demo. In this, we'll explore a subscription streaming service, SpotFlix, and apply machine learning to predict when a customer is likely to churn. So let's start with a high-level question that might be top of mind to our streaming service. And that might be, how many customers are churning daily last quarter? Well, this number looks pretty good. We can see our churn appears to be going uh, down, but let's ask a little more complexity and add to that existing question and say, compared to new customers. So as I look at this, here's our um, new customers joined. That seems to be good. Here's our overall churn. This is always a good place to start. And you know, to understand the who and the why that's behind each one of those. So let's jump over to our live board. Our churn analysis live board tracks customer life cycle trends for SpotFlix. Using Snowpark and machine learning, we can be more proactive when a customer is likely to churn. We can even pinpoint segments that are more likely to churn. Things like age and gender, age group or region, through chi-squared testing, we've identified significant columns and we're exploring the impact on churn. Interestingly, we've seen that viewers who watch fewer shows are more likely to leave. And we can see that in the viewing patterns among active churned users. As we see fewer or less frequent viewing results in higher churn rates. So let's dig into that just a little bit. Let's drill down into, say, genres. Actually, there's quite a few genres, as you can see, but one jumps out right at us. So customers that watch action, adventure, drama-themed uh, stories tend to churn higher. Why is that? Well, that's something we can look into. Looking ahead, we can analyze customer behavior to forecast current customers that are at risk of leaving, rank them by their risk level uh, across the upcoming weeks. We're particularly focused on a very concerning KPI. Here we can see the large number of customers that are at risk of churning. We can track this over time. And as you can see here along this line, we see this steady increase in churn. Now we have something to take action on. Using the XG Boost model, we're ready to start forecasting churn rates over the next few months. Notice here, we're showing both the actual and the predicted churn. Armed with this knowledge, we can tailor our programming and offers to more effectively retain those customers that are at high risk. Combining Snowpark's data science and machine learning capabilities with ThoughtSpot's analytics, we're elevating the precision of our analytics and we're driving the adoption and usage of churn predictions by the business. That's Snowpark for ThoughtSpot, bridging the gap between data science and business outcomes. To learn more about AI-powered analytics for your Snowflake data cloud, visit us at thoughtspot.com slash snowflake. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.